Hello everybody. Today is Lance's birthday. We have totally taken the day to kind of just like relax, enjoy some coffee. We had to deal with some issues with the camper. Um, the water is still not super great in it. I think we have to do some stuff with that. There's an issue with the toilet, but this, this kind of all comes with like owning an RV. So it's actually like, I think it's like three o'clock. <laughs> And we're just kind of now getting out and about. We went and got something to eat. We ended up going to Walgreens because I completely forgot masks. I just don't want to be somewhere where we need a mask and we don't have them. So we had to get that. Some more hand sanitizer, baby wipes, like just things. Um, we've already gone through so many baby wipes because my kids have been like playing in the dirt and the mud because it was like raining when we got in last night. They basically took a mud bath. <laughs> but it is the most beautiful campground I think one of the most beautiful campgrounds we've been to. It is just gorgeous. Lance is having a good birthday. I feel bad. I it, this this trip has been a lot like stress wise, so I'm not like very prepared at all for his birthday, and I feel bad. I wish I would have got like decorations or something. Anyways, they're in the car waiting for me. I was like, give me two minutes. I'm gonna start the vlog. We are here at the Alaska Zoo. I have never been here. None of us have ever been here. We're really excited to take the kids to something that um, they uh, really haven't experienced too much. All right, let's get going. You guys, this is the cutest thing ever. They're reading a story to them. Um, that is the cutest thing. went to like the front area of our campground and there was just a bear spotted like four days ago which is very foreign to us and like somebody was in the tent it makes me very nervous I think that is pretty normal here if you leave food out anything there's like the small black bears um, in Fairbanks we have more grizzlies but not a lot of them I've never seen one in the wild so um, anyways this is the polar bear was not out we're gonna check back and see if he's out later today What are you doing? What do you think of the zoo? Okay so far. <laughs> I don't know what the smells though. <laughs> the humps hold water. So they can walk really far. This has been really fun. Um, <laughs> Natalie's 10 so she doesn't really care for the smells. But it's been really cool. It feels very like natural. It's not like a very manicured zoo. It's like they try to keep things natural like the um, seals. They had a sign there saying that the green water was because they use less chemicals because it's better for the animals and so there is more algae in the water so it's kind of green but um, you can tell these animals are very well taken care of. We cannot believe the weather today. If you guys saw the last vlog of us driving in to Anchorage here or to Eagle River, it was downpouring, it rained all night long. Um, I mean, hard rain all night long. It was like quite peaceful, but <laughs> made us very nervous for today because we did plan to come here to the zoo, but it has turned out to be so beautiful. The sweater I wore is actually like way too warm. We 
just got done at the zoo. We had a fantastic time. It was not overstimulating, but the kids like got to see animals and just just had a good time. We did end up getting to see the polar bear just a tiny bit. He just poked his head out, but we were thankful to be able to see him at all. Like I said in the last vlog, this is kind of our like, go do the things that we wanna do in a city. <laughs> And then towards Seward is going to be more a little Alaskan y um, and camping. So um, we're excited to just have this as our family vacation and be able to spend time together, get out of Fairbanks. We're here at Benihana. I'm really excited to take the kids. This is what Lance wanted for his birthday dinner. So the kids, everyone is so tired. I did not sleep good just because it was like a new, a new place. There's like new sounds. Um, the bed actually really wasn't too uncomfortable in there. I get a candy. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the drive down, a game we played was if you found a, a wildlife, anything, a bird, dog, anything, then they got candy. <laughs> it was just a little game we played. We actually, only, we yeah. didn't see any wildlife at all on the entire drive, Except driving one. half of Alaska. Benny Hana. We are super bummed. They have no tables, which it's like completely like not a lot of people here but they said they didn't have any tables at all tonight um like any time tonight so what a bummer we're gonna find somewhere else to eat thank you sir yes so much time. Everybody. We are still here in Eagle River. Um, it is the next day. Lance and I ended up having a really nice night near the fire and just hanging out. Um, it definitely gets dark here a little earlier than in Fairbanks because by like 1130 we were like whoa we definitely lost a lot of light and then by midnight we packed it up because I'm like I couldn't even see a bear if they are in the woods right here and I'm not about running into a bear so <laughs> I actually I was gonna film like a shopping haul here but we just needed so many random things and I'm, I was, I kind of hit a point today where I was burnt out and I kind of just wanted to rest. So I didn't end up filming that, but I did go grocery shopping and get kind of the things we needed. We didn't come down with a ton. If you saw a couple of vlogs ago, I was packing up the camper and just kind of grabbed what we had that was like going to expire at the house. So <laughs> I grabbed some stuff, stuff to do like hot dogs over the fire. We got some buns, I got some more water because we're still having issues with the water here in the camper. Um, we're able to shower. It has like a distinct smell and we're not sure if it's just like because it was in the tank or not, but I'm definitely not even washing the dishes with it because it's just a weird smell. It's not strong, but it's definitely there and it makes me nervous. I think we're just gonna drain all the water out, put some fresh and then put some water refresher stuff in there. Yes, I am curling my hair while we're in the woods because this is like our vacation and we have a generator and we have a shower. So it's it's been nice. Right now we are actually headed on a little walk. We're gonna go check out the campground a little bit. And then later tonight we're meeting up with Adam and Sherry and we're gonna go meet at Texas Roadhouse. I'm actually a little blown away that he even wants to meet with me there. <laughs> So I'm a little concerned because my birthday is in like a week. I, I promised Lance that there would be no singing because yesterday was his birthday. So it's the only what? reason. It's not just singing. They wheel a saddle out. They make you spin a <laughs> towel around your head. It's not just singing. He's right. He's you right. say, <laughs> All right, we're going to go check some things out. There was definitely a little party here last night. <laughs> So we're gonna go check out. I think it's more of like an open area that they were at. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is like never in the sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now? When you're looking like that. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never in the sunshine. So we kind of thought 
thought this area was just like a area you could go down to the river, but that river is insane. There's the biggest beaver dam I think I've ever seen. It's all pinched off to one area and holy smokes, very dangerous, very dangerous looking. Definitely will not be fishing in there. <laughs> All right guys, we're here at Texas Roadhouse. Nobody's getting it sung to today. It's gonna be a calm Texas Roadhouse. Calm Texas Roadhouse. Calm Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> we're gonna go to dinner, get something to eat, and just visit with friends. Style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile in my heart Thank you. <laughs> We just got done at dinner at Texas Roadhouse with Adam and Sherry. There was no songs played, there was no saddle riding. It was a good time, but it was seriously the, uh, oh man, my kids. I, I ordered Sprite for them thinking I was gonna be the fun parent for a second and it backfired and they were all crazy. It was actually insane, like how crazy my kids were. My kids are pretty well behaved, but they're kids. And then you give them sugar and they act like kids. <laughs> I don't know. The waiter ended up spilling water, which not a big deal. Accidents happen. Um, and then one of my kids knocked over a Sprite all over the table. And then, you know, of course one has to go to the bathroom and then another one has, I mean, it was, it was, oh man. It was a complete hurricane the first like 15 minutes. I always feel so bad for like <laughs> just bringing my craziness around people that you know aren't normally around kids um because i feel like that'd be really overwhelming if you're not used to it like i'm overwhelmed half the time and i'm around it all the time adam sherry and auburn were like seriously so nice about it i just they're they're such nice people Hopefully next time we get together, it's, it'll be a little bit more chill. I think they're gonna try to come over tomorrow night. We're gonna go to Benihana's at 5.15, <laughs> and then after that, I think we're gonna get a hold of them, and if they feel like coming out, then they can come out. <laughs> oh my gosh, Wendy's going to the bathroom. Okay. Um, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am just kind of pick up the camera here and there, so I'm gonna make one big vlog with all of this, but we decided to take the kids to Chuck E. Cheese, that's something that like I've been able to take land into but like haven't been able to take the other kids so we're just spending like a family day this one the, for the third time. Hello everybody. <laughs> this has been a, a vlog that's been all over the place. Today we went to Chuck E. Cheese this morning. We went to Target. Um, now the boys are at the batting cages. It's kind of hitting a point now to where like everyone's just so out of their element that like <laughs> I'm like, should we just go home early? Because I don't wanna like force a vacation, but we're gonna stick it out. I really wanna see Seward. I think we're just, I think it's just been a little bit too busy, honestly, um, that it's either like not busy enough or too busy and everyone gets overwhelmed, but they're all having a really good time. It's just, 
everyone's nerves are a little bit cranky right now. This one needed a nap. So us girls are hanging out in here, sleeping. And there's Natalie. I think Natalie's gonna go hit a few balls too. Um, we're gonna go to Benny Hanna's here in about an hour-ish, hour and a half. And that'll be kind of the last thing I think we're gonna do here in Anchorage. And then the rest is gonna kind of be like camp stuff and some steward stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Did you, what'd you make that out of, fun? Oh, you I did? Got, I got the string. The string, it dried out, um, dried oh. out the vines and stuff. Oh. White, green, um, birch. 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 Oh, you trying to show them your owie? Birch. Okay. Hand Sanny. What? Hand <laughs> Sanny. <Yeah. laughs> what? Oh, my word. Hand Sanny lights like, good because it has alcohol on it. <laughs> I love you. Oh, thank you. There it is. Good job, guys. Nice job. Good job, bud. Yeah, hold it over the fire pit, though, just in case it falls. One eternity later. Okay, so I want to explain a little bit. Um, again, this was our family vacation, so I wasn't like spending days to just like vlog it. I did vlog, but that is why you're seeing three days in one because I really just did not, it was not a priority for me. My priority when we were down there was to spend time with my family and to slow down. And though I did capture some and I did vlog a little bit, it was just not at the top of my list. So as you guys saw, we spent a lot of time around the fire. We just slowed down life. Um, Adam and Auburn ended up coming out and spending just the night around the fire in at the Eagle River campground and we just just sat there and chatted. I say this all the time but um, when we get together with Adam and Sherry and Auburn it's just good soul good for the soul type conversations. I mean any conversation around a campfire just seems to be good <laughs> like all the time you just slow down life my little brayden is such a social butterfly and he loves people he loves talking to people he will make friends with anybody actually we were just at the state fair and he was on that hang glider one where you're on your stomach and you go up in the air and it's all crazy he went on that and he was making conversation with a kid twice his age while they were up in the air. It was just adorable. That's how he is. He loves people. He loves talking to them and I encourage it. Obviously, we have the conversation of stranger danger, but if I'm with him, I'm like, you go ahead. You have those conversation. You can tell it's just something he enjoys. So he's sitting there and he's making conversation with Adam around the campfire and he is bringing them drinks and you know he's asking him if he didn't want anything and he brings them some like saltwater taffies I think and then a little bit later he comes back and he has a handful of candy and it's like Whoppers and M&Ms it was it was some candy that we had gotten at Target earlier this day that you guys just watched 
and he had just like, I mean, they were just in his hand. It wasn't like they were packaged or anything. And he just like hands them to Adam. And it was just the sweetest, like, I was like, Adam, don't eat those. <laughs> They were like on the floor of the truck. I mean, they were in a bag, but like yeah, just, just a rule of life. Don't eat unwrapped candy from kids. Anyways, it was it was the joke of the night. Not joke, it was just, that's, that's where Brayden's heart is. Like he wants to take care of people. He wants to talk to people. He's just very sweet. So Adam and Sherry ended up coming up actually recently. This is after this trip because what you saw was just a few weeks ago. They ended up coming up to Fairbanks and you'll have to watch their vlog. I'm gonna link their video down below, but we ended up giving them one of our cars because their rental car had got canceled when they were coming up here. You'll see in the video of the snacks that I got him were referencing back to that time around the fire so <laughs> anyways I just wanted to kind of end this out because like I said vlogs were not a priority um, it was family and I'm okay with that I don't regret it at all the next video you see is going to be Seward and us going to Seward it happened to be the day that Lydia Jacoby had won the stinking Olympics and it was like it was really cool. We didn't end up like doing anything crazy, but it was very cool to see the love that Seward had for her. So anyways, stay tuned for that. All right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!